Coming down here to see him people skate, and uh, before it was even ready, we had kids down here. It was the, we had these all these little individual pieces separated. They pulled them all together without any uh, help from us. It takes about ten people to move them, and they were skating before it was ready. And um, everybody that I've come down here and talked to, they've been very very excited. This is the only spine ramp in Colorado, from what I understand, that's that's built like this. No, where's another one? Uh, that's a long ways away. You got to go six miles, six hours to go to that one. So um, um, definitely uh, hope it gets used um, a lot by everybody, and, and appreciate you being here again. Um, this has been ten years in the making. Well, um, before I got here, there was some plans for a skate park. Um, they kind of got put on hold, um, and then um, I looked at those. They had people come into my office and, and um, saying, "Hey, when are you going to do that skate part that was talked about?" And it just never seemed like the right time, and, and we never really had a right place. And now I think it's the right time and it's the right place. So we're excited about that. Um, on behalf of the Whitefield Community Center, um, there's also always a lot of thank yous. It just doesn't happen on its own. Um, we have special thanks to um, Skate Strong Foundation, um, Jono Schwan. Where's Jono? Jono! Where is he? Oh, there he is. Jono Schwan. Um, he, uh, they, actually, his foundation donated this, the spine ramp. So it, it was uh, a spine ramp in Denver, as I understand, and uh, they, uh, that, that uh, organization went under, and they, uh, they had it, and they donated it to the Whitefield Community Center. Um, Mike and Teresa Watson, Jackpot uh, Skate Shop. Woo! Um, woo where are they? Yeah. They're over yeah. there. Yeah. Michael um, was instrumental in, in the, the brains of putting this together and, and making it happen. Tons of hours. Teresa Watson, she's on our advisory board and on the Board of Education for the school district. And um, she kept bringing it up at advisory board meetings that, hey, we got this fine ramp. How can we make it happen? And um, with her encouragement and, um, and uh, perseverance, it, it has happened. Um, Barry Alexander and Steve Siebert, right. where are they? Where did you yes, get the Right Yay. over here. They, uh, they put uh, hours and hours of volunteer work. There's 8,000 screws in here, and uh, they had to drill them, pre-drill them all, and uh, put those in. So uh, we certainly appreciate all their efforts. Our grounds crew at the community center, um, they cleaned this all up, put some boards in here, got the rock work, they did a lot of work for us, we appreciate all their efforts. Um, our advisory board, again for supporting the project, um, we have here Corey Hutchinson, it's on our advisory board, and um, Russ Lambert, and of course Teresa Watson, and uh, and I do want to thank our uh, Mr. Joe Royer, our superintendent of schools, yeah. and the uh, and the board of education for their continued support of our programs and activities here at the community center. Um, we do have Mr. Andre Gutierrez, our board member, and um, again Teresa Watson. And uh, I don't know, is there any other board members here today? Nope. Very good. Okay, so now I want to, Mr. Uh, Jono Schwan has some, uh, some Jono, I have a good friend that uh, we call him Jono, so Jono, it's hard for me to say that. Jono, I'm turning it over to you, and uh, the Skate Foundation. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I definitely agree, it is the right place and right time to have awesome spine ramp here, really excited to have New Park, and um, I feel like skateboarding is a great addition to the uh, Whitefield Community Center. It's the sixth most popular sport in the world, so there's a lot of you guys I can already see, and I'm sure there's going to be more. Uh, it's an awesome outlet and exercise, and uh, it's proven to help you live longer and be happier. So all good things, and uh, really excited to have it as part of the Whitefield Community Center. But um, I've been really passionate about skateboarding for most of my life. I started six years ago. And I uh, have always had the support of my family and friends, which has helped me get to uh, a professional career in it. And um, I've also had access to ramps. And now uh, we've got access here, and I have no doubt in my mind that there's going to be some amazing professional skateboarders coming out of here, all because of the spine ramp starting them off. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and I have a feeling that it's going to be fun for everyone to skate, too.
So, uh, the whole project started almost two years ago um, when we were doing the vert ramp project. There wasn't a vert ramp in Colorado where we got a hold of one, but not only that, we got a mini ramp and a spine ramp. And when we were putting it in over at Memorial Park, we could only put in the vert ramp and the spine or, and the mini ramp, and then uh, we had the spine ramp, and we needed to find a great home for that. So we searched and searched and searched and talked to our Skate Strong board. And uh, Mike and Teresa have been part of the Skate Strong board for a while, and they're like, I know the place. And they came to us, they told us, they got it all figured out, and here we are. We are at the place. This is the time. And uh, we are here for the grand opening of a brand new skate park in Colorado. So um, Mike's been working incredibly hard with two people out here. You've probably seen him working day in, day out to get this thing done. And um, I'd like to present a uh, two appreciation awards really quick. Could Barry Alexander and Steve Sa Siebert please come up? <laughs> Round of applause for them. So round of applause for those guys. <laughs> and now some very, very important people. Could Mike and Teresa please come up? Yeah. So we have a very special award for Mike and Teresa. This is the very first Founders Award we've ever given out. And I can't imagine that we will give out too many more. Um, I'm just going to read it out to you guys so you know what it's all about. So, my, to present it to Michael and Teresa Watson for their personal commitment, dedication, and countless hours of volunteer service in helping bring a skate park to the wide field community. So, we're going to present that to them. And round of applause for these guys, too. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, uh, I would like to present the certificate of ownership of to to Ben Valdez, so that. We now have the spine ramp in Whitefield. Awesome. And we do have another thing. So, being a skateboarder, I've seen a lot of these places I've went, and it uh, doesn't really make me smile too much. But, um, <laughs> Sorry, um, Ben, could you do me the honor of spray painting over this side? <laughs> got a skate park, let's do a ribbon cutting. <laughs> come on up, and our advisory board members, please come on up. Michael, Teresa. Michael, Teresa. Thank <laughs> you.
I do want to let everybody know that the park is not done. We're going to be adding some new features here in the next few weeks. So um, there'll be some rails to go on and some other features. So um, that'll be coming here shortly. Okay, the uh, Jonah, are you going to lead the competition? Demo. We've actually got a quick five-minute demo by local skater Reed Watson and Chris Patton. Uh, they're going to show us how the ramp can be used and we'll walk it through so that everybody knows uh, what 